name's Laura Mackey. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based in the UK. Um, you should be now joining me for part two of my Emma Bridgewater gift box. And this part two is making the lid and then adding the DSP. Um, so to make the lid, you will need a piece of cardstock which measures 20.7 centimetres. 20.7 centimetres by 20.7 centimetres and then you're going to score on all four sides at 2.5 centimetres which I always like to do this way so 2.5 on all four sides and then on same again on all four sides at five centimetres so you should be able to see that I've got double score lines on all four sides so <clears throat> Just move my trimmer out of the way. Then I'm going to use my bone folder and just burnish all those score lines. So last one. Then, now I've just burnished all them now, we're going to trim, so I'm going to cut up the score line to that second score line angle, like that, trim off, cut down that score line to the first score line only this time, and then taper. So you end up with a little tab and that little tab is going to come round and stick like so. Now it's what I like to do is I mirror that from one side to the other. So the same again, cut down that first score line to the second score line, taper in, turn, trim off, cut down the first score line, and stop, turn and trim off. So we've got a mirror image and then I'm gonna do the same on this side. But this is gonna be a mirror now of that on this side. So cutting down the score line all the way to the second, trim in, turn down the first score line, trim off and cut on the angle. And then we're going to do a mirror image again and then it's a mirror image one side to the other. So it's cutting down all the way down on that score line, shape it in on the angle, trim off, cut down the score line and angle off. So now you can see you've got the bare bones of your box. Now is what I'm going to do with this while it's flat, I'm going to add my DSP. The DSP I'm using for this box and the same as the one I use for this box is the Stampin' Up! Pressed Petals. It's a speciality pack. Um, you get double the amount of DSP than what you normally do and it's a pack of £13. They're all so, so pretty. So my DSP for my lid measures... 10.2 by 10.2 but if you want to be in old money it's basically four inches so I'm going to cut that and then I'm going to add that to my lid it's just e I just find it a bit easier to do the lid DSP on the lid first my glue's coming out of there pretty crazy. It is a new one. I treated myself to a new one. I do love it when you start a new glue. So just make sure I'm just lining that up nice and neatly so my borders are all equal all the way around. 
Now, as you'll see on my lid here, I didn't add DSP on the side. I actually quite like the pop of the colour coming round. Um, if you wanted to, you could add DSP on there. If you wanted to add DSP, it would need to be 10.2, the same, in length, by 2 centimetres if you wanted to add that. And now I'm going to start to form my box. And it's what I tend to do is flip that piece back and then peg it again like I did in part two when I was doing the base. Same again, bit of glue, round way. Glue's oozing out there. Note to self, don't put it close to the edge like that. Add a little peg. Do the same there, flip that piece back. Then I'm gonna add glue on both make it easier for myself one and then two and add in a peg now I'm just going to give that a couple of minutes just to go off and is what I'm going to do is we're going to cut our DSP now for our sides of our box which you need four pieces, 10 centimetres by 10 centimetres. So I know I'm only gonna get three out of a piece. So cutting that tiny sliver off. And then 10 centimetres, 10 centimetres. centimeters that's three and then I just need one piece out of this piece <clears throat> I think you'd almost get because you get this left out of the sheet so you've actually got another four pieces so you'd actually get another four sides of your boxes out of that right going back to our box so you could have, if you wanted, have stuck your DSP down when it was flat. I like to live on the wild side and add it at this point. So this is why I like to use glue. Did you see how I was completely not straight there? So one, just this Tombow just gives me that chance to straighten it up so one two if your paper's got a direction make sure that you're sticking it the right way up my flowers are all heads here stems down so two and it's what you can do is then just run your bone folder in there just to make sure you're giving it a good down and the other two pieces three just give it a bone folder just to make sure it's squidge all that glue all over and then the last piece so what's lovely about these boxes you don't actually it doesn't have to be used to hold a mug I mean it's a lovely size box that you could put all sorts in it really it would hold lots of chocolates you could put um, socks inside um, it really it is a really lovely size box so it's not not just for an Emma Bridge water mug and I imagine that you all right, I've said an Emma Bridge water mug, but you could probably, you know, other mugs would probably fit in here too, because I think mugs really, they don't hugely differ in size, do they? Right, so I've now covered DSP on all four sides. If you wanted to add a reinforcement piece in there, you can. Um, that would need to be um, about 10.3 centimetres by 10.3. I'm not worried. Um, 
I'm quite happy that it's quite secure inside for the mug. So then now, cup now, just closing these other pieces in. Again, this is my little thing with reinforcing. It's a nice sturdy lid and it, I've got no raw edge. And I always do these two opposites where my where my little tabs are inside first. I don't know why. I just always do. Please, if you haven't watched me on YouTube before, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give my video a little thumbs up. Um, you never know when I might be back again with another one. One more. Just given those. I will go round again in a minute, but just making sure they're stuck nice and stuck down. Last one. And again the same. So just giving it a good bone folder down. Making sure that glue squidges on every little bit and again just gonna just double check all these other sides right so that's the lid complete and the lid it's a nice fit Ta -da! I put my mug inside actually couldn't I not that I'd want to give my anyone my um, dirty dregs of coffee inside. So there, that's the box complete. I hope you've enjoyed my Emma Bridgewater gift box. Um, any products that I've used today you're interested in, you can purchase them via my online shop. You can find my online shop via my blog, which is www.lauramackie.co.uk. Thank you so much for joining me today. Bye-bye.